So I noticed uh, something on uh, Twitter. I was um, just kind of trolling through Twitter, uh, doing some business stuff, and I came across Nike's Twitter account, and it made me uh, come up with a topic I wanted to share for this week's video blog. Um, you know, we still see Nike television commercials, but um, they really, really, really scaled back on them and when they show them. Because, you know, you can't fight the inevitable. We fast forward through television commercials, and Nike's PR marketing department understands that, as everybody else should. Um, but where they're really, really making a big push is on the social media and social networks, their Instagram, Facebook, and especially Twitter. Um, if you had a guess about how many people really kind of see a typical television commercial, what would your, what would your guess be? I'll give you a second to uh, think about that. Um, now, if you had a guess about how many followers Nike has on t just Twitter alone, this isn't all their other social, social networks, what would your guess be? Um, the answer is, uh, just on Twitter alone, Nike has 2,590,168 followers. That is an insane amount of people that are interested in Nike and want to be a part of their brand. Now the interesting thing here is a television commercial, the way it works is you're watching a show that you want to watch. Then you're interrupted by a brand when their commercial comes on. You don't necessarily want to see that. But what's kind of remarkable about, remarkable about what I'm looking at here on Insta or Twitter is 2,590,168 people want to follow. They searched for Nike, they sought them out, click the follow button because they want to consume their content. Now not all major brands have that many followers. The reason Nike has such a massive following is because they do a remarkable job at the content that they post. They post relevant content that is uh, fun to look at. So for example, last night the national championship was on. They have a lot of uh, content branded and, and targeted toward, toward that. They have a celebration photo that somebody snapped on their iPhone. Um, while on the field after the game, confetti coming down, things like that. Something that pertains to what is happening now. Something that we want to consume. So, social media is very powerful. Nike doesn't pay anything um, for their social media campaigns. That's the beautiful thing. I'm sure they have a social media department that, you know, they're hiring folks for that. But they don't have to pay Twitter to tweet and things like that unless they boost a post or something like that. But most of their content is organic. Um, I will leave you with this. If you're still unsure how successful you can be on uh, social media, Nabisco, or not Nabisco, I'm sorry, uh, Nilla Wafers. We're all familiar with it. We used to eat them as kids. Uh, banana cream pie, things like that are made out of them. But it's not the most sexy cookie, okay? So their, their sales hadn't gone up in a few years. And let, this past year, they hired VaynerMedia, a social media consulting agency that that just does social media. Um, no Wafers had a marketing budget of $600,000. All $600,000 of that budget went to Gary Vaynerchuk's company, VaynerMedia. And they had a 10% increase in sales. First time they've had an, any increase in sales in over five years. They had a 10% increase in sales. And the only marketing that Nella Wafers did was on social media. So if you're still unsure if social media can work as a business tool, a 10% increase on a national brand that hadn't had any increase in the last five years should just go, the proof's in the pudding. If you know how to use it, it works. You have to understand how to use it. The return on investment for a, a piano for me, not knowing how to use it is pointless. But the return on an investment for a piano for Elton John or Billy Joel, the, the number is countless. So I will leave you with that today. Be sure to check out Nike, kind of get an, an idea of what kind of content they're posting and give yourself an idea of how you can post relevant content that pertains to what's going on in the world that people may be interested in.